Hi, this is a video for our students working from book two of Essential Elements. And the piece that this video is all about is Red Bead, our fourth bead, exercise 36. Now on this page, page nine in book two, we are learning all about how to count titis or quavers. So when we have quavers, we need to count in our head one and two and three and four and, and our quavers will either fall on the number or on the and. Really important that you work through all the pieces on this page because they've done something really tricky. They've given us quaver rests as well. So that counting becomes so important. We've got half beat rests. They're almost just like this tiny little pause of silence, very short amount of silence. And then we need to come in again sometimes on that half beat or that and beat. So the piece for our red bead is number one, playing the notes right, but number two, and probably most importantly for this piece, getting our rhythm or our timing right. And the only way we can do that is by counting one and two and three and four and sometimes we even write it in on the music so we know where the note needs to come whether it's on a number or on the and so that is our focus for this piece number 36 jesse james particularly coming in on that and beat we've got four and to come in a few times. So let's have a play through it fairly slowly to begin with. It's also got an anacrusis. So we're coming in on the fourth beat. One and two and three and four and. Okay, let's give it a go. One and two and three and four and. Whoops, I didn't come in on the fourth beat. One and two and three and is getting the notes. Second thing is getting the rhythm. Third thing is adding in things like slurs and dynamics. So think about where you're at. Are you just working on the notes? Are you now good with the notes and working on getting that timing right and counting in your head? If you've got all of that, then you can start adding the icing on the cake, the slurs and the dynamics. So let's play it again. I'm counting in my head constantly. One and two and three and four and. It makes the tars seem really long and the twos so long when you're counting the ands as well. So it's really important to count in your head. One and two and three and. <laughs> is your red bead. 